Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's 3 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. Though it's looking like Pacific Standard Time outside, if you know what I'm saying. Am I right? <laughs> uh, hmm. It's, uh... Monday. Hey, hi. Uh, we got some old games. Uh, I've been uh, spending a fair amount of time thinking about Titanfall 2 all weekend. Um, and uh, that game's pretty good. Uh, that game's, I, I like it a lot. Uh, we'll talk about it on the podcast tomorrow. I'm actually um, writing a review right now. Uh, not right now, because I'm doing this right now. Uh, but I, I was writing a review of that before doing this. Uh, figured I would come uh, and hang out. You know, it's Monday. A little Monday home stream action here. Uh, and I got some old old uh, video games. Not that old. Not like, uh, you know, like uh, crazy Japanese computers and stuff like that. I actually do have all that too. But I, I was just kind of thinking of uh, monkeying around a little bit. I saw you guys in the chat earlier talking about Burger Time. So I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll play a little Burger Time at some point here over the next uh, hour or so. Right? Um, but, yeah. Why don't we get into it here? I'm going to... What do I got to do here? Do this and then that. So, games with robots and men and women in robot suits. Let's talk about it. This is uh, Cybernator for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I'm going to try and widen that out. No, that's just going to screw that up. Um... I like Target Earth a lot, the classic Genesis game. Uh, Cybernator here is in the same series. I'm not, I mean, like I played some Cybernator and didn't necessarily like get super into it at the time. Um, and so I kind of thought maybe I would uh, start with a little bit more of that. Just to kind of just remember what this game was all about. Uh, you know, uh, obviously it's in the same series. It's pretty obvious what it is all about. Um, but I thought I would fuck around with this stuff for a little bit. Uh, I got chat up over here on my laptop. Uh, I ever play Front Mission? Front Mission's not my thing. Yeah, strategic mech stuff. I, I like a little more action, but even sometimes the simulation aspect stuff like can get a little too much uh, at times. Um, like I like Mech Warrior Two a lot, for example. Mute this for a second. Um, oh, that see, that just stops it. That's that's no good. Um, I like Mac Warrior Two a lot at the time. Um, you know that that's a you know hey like you don't need me to tell you that Mac Warrior Two is a good fucking game. Um, but a lot of the games where you have to deal with like heat dispersion and stuff like that in mechs is uh, not always like up my alley. Uh, I like stuff a little more actiony at times, but. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Mac Warrior 2 was good. What were we even talking about? Uh, I guess a question over here. Uh, am I playing from the new setup? Yeah, this is so. This is the new computer. I don't know if you watched the show on Friday where we built almost all of a new computer. Um, but we built almost all of a uh, almost all of a new computer, and then I realized that the first thing we had done, uh, which was screw the back plate to the uh, the, 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 the back plate to the back of the motherboard that was going to hook the, where the cooler was going to, uh, bolt onto it. Uh, I had picked out the wrong screws for that, the wrong, like motherboard standoffs. So we changed that out. And that was the last thing we did on that show. Uh, spoilers, I guess we haven't watched that yet. Um, and then I came home here and spent about 20 minutes and got it up and running. It booted the first time. Just, I put the cooler on, um, hooked up the last few cables, plugged in the video card, and that was that. The only thing I don't have right now, so I, I went actually also, I went out and bought a, a hard drive for this machine, a four terabyte drive for storage of stuff, old video games and such. 
um because these ssds that i put in here are not big enough for that and uh then slap that 1080 in there and yeah i hit the button it booted and and yeah it booted so here we are i installed a fresh windows 10 on it and i've been like slowly installing everything so like installed obs like 45 minutes ago and spent a bunch of time setting it up so if it looks and sounds like shit that's that's probably not too big of a surprise um because i kind of hastily have been doing software stuff i the windows 10 mail client just crashes i don't know it's a fresh install of windows it's just fucked it's completely fucked i can't reorganize the start menu also just just for funsies uh any opinions of turrican i you know i i do have some opinions of turrican 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 i'm more of a turricant than a turrican if you ask me let's check out some cybernator All right, what do we got here in terms of options? All right. Uh, shield, hold, weapon select. Okay, jump, shoot, dash. Name entry, I mean, yeah, I probably want to enter a name here. Okay, apparently we, we didn't do that. What? Oh, hmm. hang on. I this is my phone. Okay, well, never mind. We're good. What's robots? The mail and start menu thing is an NVIDIA driver issue. There's a hot. Okay, all right. Good to know. Good to know. See, That's, sometimes the internet can you can use it for good instead of evil. Not most of the time, but okay. The job of destroying the enemy battlecraft was assigned to our platoon. This is getting right into it. Who is our platoon? It doesn't matter. We have to go blow this shit up. All right. Force away into the colony. Is this game difficult? I, I actually, it's... Like I said, I, I've played Cybernator, but not a ton of it. And I don't, just don't, I don't have a ton of uh, knowledge of it. So I'm actually kind of interested to get into it as a Target Earth fan. My understanding is that this was a little less, uh, the ship will break into the enemy colony. You know I will. Okay, so we can we can also double tap dash it looks like. Oh. There's no time. Okay, so I got my shield. Oh. I can, okay, I can lock. Got it. Got our boosters here. I can punch, and I can Vulcan. set my laptop to not go to sleep when it's when it's where chat lives that dash feels pretty good you know you're jumping out of a dash and whoa Right, got a 
lock. Yeah, okay. Lock, go back and forth. Fuck it, we're going. Okay, so that, okay. that's why I fell earlier, because it actually destroys the platform that the gun is on when you fall through. That's cool. That's cool. Jake. This is Jake. I have found the energy unit. Again, the name is Jake. That's an order to you, Jake. more powerful than the gun? Seems like it would be. So is that just a full loss, or is that just how the... Oh, that is. Wow. I thought maybe there was going to be a you totally lose the first mission on purpose thing, but no, I just didn't fucking kill that thing the way I should have. Man. I don't know if I want to start from scratch. That's the... These are the streaming decisions, right? Like do this whole thing again to hope it goes differently or just move on to something else. I hit start thinking it would continue, but maybe it just starts from the start of the mission and that's just how it goes. Yeah, no, that's yeah, we 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 are aware of Jake's quest. Turns out you can get there a lot faster if you just don't shoot anything. Condition green. Okay, heavy artillery, very active, or mine from the moon, sent into satellite orbit, or got processed, of course. Is this game like Target Earth, where if you play that first level only shooting the end boss and not the not any other enemies that you get like every single weapon all at once I bet it is
Don't run into any roids. No. Oh, a little message up there about your health. Just a little good luck up there. That's nice of him. Oh, I should use the shield. I guess I can't shield while I'm flying, huh? I can punch. Oh. Boosters away. Oh, okay. Now it's on for real. Oh, this controls. This is. This feels weird. It's supposed to be like this no gravity kind of thing. My shield is dangerously low. That's true. This is not going well. That P was not what I was hoping it would be. Fucking raw power of the Super Nintendo all up in your grill. Uh, yeah, so it does start at the start of the mission. That's probably enough Cybernator for now. Maybe I'll cheat my way through this one of these days. Uh, so we can just get a big look at it. The whole thing. Ah, well, um, yeah, that's cool. I, you know, that's, uh, yeah, that can, that does control pretty well, but it's weird. The, that little, uh, anti, the anti-gravity part after you get cut, the cut off from the boosters is really rough. Any chance of one must fall 2097 today? No, no, definitely not. That's, uh, I, I have tried to get that running on DOS box and had, not a lot of luck uh, getting it working properly. So, yeah, that's, you know, I I really enjoyed One Must Fall when it first came out. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's a fighting game. So, at some point, you know, one, one must apply science to it. Um, but we'll figure that out someday. Um, Hmm. All right. Because you demanded it. This is all on you, but this is the NES version of Burger Time, which is probably not the version we want to be playing. Actually, actually that looked all right there for a sec. Have you ever told you that I have a real lasting love for the Burger Time music? Mr. Hot Dog coming my way. Y'all got peppered. Gotta get this ice cream to get more pepper. Wait, not, okay. Ah! If you think about it, Burger Time is kind of just Pac-Man. Except, instead of picking up power pellets, you can kind of just shoot. Oh, Mr. Egg! I get caught me on a ladder. I, I, this, this is not a great version of this game. Come on, Mr. Hot Dog. 
Oh, this is... Like 20 hot dogs chasing me. <laughs> Fucking run. Peter Pepper's got a haul ass. Oh, I missed that ladder. And now, no, oh, no more pepper for me. Ah, man. Indecision will get you every time in Burger Time. Peter Pepper has no room. For standing around and doing dumb shit. Decisive. Peter Pepper's a man of action. And if you cannot meet that standard, stay home. Alright, now we got Mr. Pickle coming. Alright, that's that's a waste of pepper right there, but. Oh, this is a bad scene. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. feeling great about making it out of this one alive. Here we go, here we go. Oh. bad. This is bad. Right, no pepper. No pepper left. No, I had, well, I had pepper. I just... Oh, man. Hard lessons. The hard lessons we learn. When it's burger time. All right. Some turrican, huh? I feel like I streamed some of that not that long ago, but it was the Amiga version. Whereas I primarily played um, the Genesis version. But I think I have the Super Nintendo version of Super Trican here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Sega. They make my favorite stuff. Mostly harmless. Sure. Why not? Oh. I feel like Marvel would have something to say about this character's design. Turrican assault suits. Feel less into this franchise having just seen that close up shot of what the suit supposedly looks like. All right, fire beam jump line. Uh, rapid fire. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Beam line. Got it. I just this franchise this franchise has always been super weird for me. One up. Did I? Oh! Oh! Oh god! Actually. Power up! Power up. Okay. Whoa, that's. That's that's bad for me. That's bad. That's, you don't want it. that's not how it's supposed to go. Okay, so you. That's. See, now I push. All right, the wind. See now, the wind took me that time. That's this is hard. This is I don't. I feel like this is a very different game from like the Amiga. I could be wrong, but. That takes a lot of shots. It's not even gonna kill it, is it? Okay, all right. That thing is constantly shooting. to get hit is a little rough. A lot of this movement feels really weird.
well. You know, I actually want to see the the sequel to that. Dolby Surround. Serious. Put your headphones on now. Factor 5. They had an office uh, near here. Uh, you know, when they were doing the Lucas stuff. They were in Marin County. Like, not far from where I'm sitting. A little Super Baseball Simulator 1000, huh? Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would play some of that. I would play some of that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, again, isn't this just uh, what's his face? Gal Galactus. Galactus. Isn't this just that Marvel villain, planet, planet sized dude? The Mega version was superior. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. And that's where this that's where this franchise really shined uh shone sheened uh these ports uh, these ports were kind of what came to the US you know Genesis and SNES stuff and they just never really made much sense it was like you hear that they were super popular and you're like I, these games don't control well they seem kind of bust like kind of crappy i don't know like, i don't see why they're such a big deal and i just kind of I think it's one of those things that, by virtue of not a lot of people being into consoles in the UK at the time, or whatever it was, like you know, or the of the or the Amiga being so ultra important that you know, on those platforms, these games probably stood out a lot better. I guess. Look at that spinning too, though. That's nice. Song test, that's nice. Desert Storm. Well, I was going to try to do the sound test, but... Mega Turka. Yeah, so that's the version I primarily played, was... was, was the Genesis uh, release of the, of the uh, Mega, Mega Turrican, I believe it was. Pretty sure that's what it was, that it wasn't the first one. Anyway. Army of Darkness. Okay, got it. So assault suit. Arm your assault suit. Break, break, shot. This kind of looks like Super Star Wars. Missile. Missile. I feel like the Super Nintendo was full of just this game over and over again, you know? Just like, I don't know, you're a techno man, some kind of robot or whatever, and uh, you just, you are gonna run to the right and fuck shit up. That's our idea for a game. This game seems way more straightforward and less interesting than its predecessor. At least on Super Nintendo. Missile. Laser. Laser. I like the way it goes real, like it kind of bends when you jump. Big old floppy, flabby laser just out there going brow. Oh, yeah, Moon Patrol. Let's go. Hey, you want to talk about funky video game bass lines? Moon Patrol is the game you're looking for. 
Oh, yeah, we can't hit these radioactive barrels. on their heads. He's... Almost look like the quintessens. Quiet. Yo, my shit is blowing up. This bad. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. Danger. All right, one bit of health left against this building that is spitting garbage at me. Oh, I have a, is that a fucking grappling hook? Jeez, what have I been doing? Man, a proton pack too? I didn't realize you were a ghostbuster in this game. this laser a little bit better. But. I feel like there's a better way to do what I'm... There must be a better way to do what I'm trying to do here. To scale this wall. Is there a slicker, cooler way to do it that I'm just missing? that up.
fuck that up. All the way. Wait, how was I able? To okay, so I can, I can, I can shoot it straight up, but not straight out. Sticky. It is not. It was not. That was not a wall. I could. That was. Timing on that is weirdly specific and not great to perform. Yeah, that you. Oh. It's hard to do a swing to swing. Probably doesn't help that I'm like use two other games where you Rebound. do that stuff. I guess. See, if I had this cybernator shield there, then we wouldn't have had a problem. Laser, power up. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a great game. I mean, obviously, it's not really... I don't think anyone's talking about this version of the game as being the one to play, but even removed from that standard, this is just... Reminds me of Fatal Rewind. The, uh, the Killing Game Show, I think it was called, in, in, uh, in the UK. Danger. More angry buildings. Oh, this one's got a... Whatever this is. 
Can I do that? No. 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 Let's just let's just hit a couple more of those. Okay, that's that's all of them we can hit. That's okay. He doesn't come to me every time. He takes two steps and then bounces. And I really should have seen that coming. Look at this fancy little yes no spinner here. I feel like only Amiga developers would do that. All right. All right, Ocean. All right. Someone had mentioned a little Super Baseball Simulator. Uh, maybe I won't play a full game of that, but... You know? Let's see what our friends at Culture Brain have to say about the sport of baseball. I rented this game multiple times. I think I did eventually come to own it. Uh, and it was cool. I mean, yeah. It's just to a three inning game. Of course, changes, errors, yeah, sure. Standard, okay. Brown Stadium. Man. Ken. Ken's going in for us today. Ooh. So, okay. How do I... Oh, jeez. Oh god. You, know, you, you gotta get the timing in. There we go. Get some contact, get some good wood on that. It's gonna take me three innings just to fucking dial in the timing. Swinging bunt. There's supposed to be... I just don't remember if maybe you have to earn them. But there's like special abilities and shit. Was that only in the NES version? No, right? Let's bail on this one and uh, 
see if I've got that other one. Am I crazy? Maybe I need to play teams in the Ultra League. Brown. We'll stick with Brown. S skip. Definitely. Use pitcher? Yeah. I mean, yeah. We'll use a pitcher. There it is. Good old fashioned baseball right there. Nothing fancy about it. You gonna throw home? Come on, AI. Do what NES video game baseball AI does. Boom! Running great. If I had uh, installed all the, uh, Elgato software and stuff like that, and I could do PS4 stuff right this second, I would play a little bases loaded for PS4, which I don't think we ever did anything with. Oops, oops, that, that was supposed to go second, man, come on. Got to double them off, what are we doing? sure how I throw super pitches. Full count. What do we got? Yeah, take that. Sweating after one inning. It's going good. Oh boy. That's getting through.
It's like a sad version of the RBI baseball music. Like someone just got murdered. couple right there. Oh, quick ball. That's... I really fucked that up. <laughs> this pitcher is, like, freaking out. I accidentally put in a reliever or something like that? I don't know. A little wild. Oh! That was their leadoff man. Of course he's going to be fast. I think he killed my first baseman. That's gone. No, maybe not. is hit a line drive to the wall so you only get a single. A very long single. Super hit would, would help with that. Take that, you fucker. It's more where that came from. Oh. Oh. I should probably change pictures. Or stop playing. Actually, that's probably the right move there. Yeah, I used to play a lot of that with all of its, like, super crazy abilities and stuff. It was just a, a neat game. Um, let's maybe stick it out a little. Let's, let's, play, let's, let's, uh, let's play some more games here. Anything in particular you guys want to see, I guess, uh, let me know. But I'm going to fire up something... Uh, 
Uh, no, that's not. That's not one. This was the first uh, Picross game I ever played, and I was way into this game. I've, I've completed every single puzzle in this thing. I got it. It was an L. Yes, with hint. What do I look like? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means all of these. And then that means two, three, four, five, six. That's anything with a nine is going to be all the way across here. That's a one and a six. So that's a one and a one. Two, 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 two. That's all here. first puzzle in this set was going to make me have to think at least a little bit here. I figured I'd just be able to bang it out. Okay, 232, 2132. So what do we got here? 1611, one, one, there's still one here. 1611, one, one, there's still one here. 11111, one, 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 one. there's still one there. 1111, one, one, one. okay, this one is done. So that one. Six three one has to be boom boom boom, and that's our two one and two. So this one's done. Two three two that has to be there. Two one three two so that's got to be there. And boom boom boom. Oh, it's a Game Boy. Hooray, we did it. Congratulations. Game Boy. That's me. The Game Boy. It sounded like garbage for some reason. Uh, okay. Let's see, um, oh gosh. Sometimes you gotta take it back, mm -hmm. take it to Japan. Oh, 
Well, that... Hmm. I don't know why that happened, but that's less than good. Let's see. Well, if that's not going to work... Hmm. Huh. Is just everything... Okay, that that broke as well, which is interesting. Don't mind me, I'm just debugging this fucking shit. Um, you know, sometimes you build a new computer and uh, things happen. Things don't go your way. Sometimes you gotta, you know, adjust on the fly. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's uh, give this a shot. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. All right, that seems to, oh boy. All right, let's uh, delete that. Oh, where that was me. I deleted myself. Help. Uh, add a little bit of this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A little bit of that. Alright. Been thinking a little bit about Total Carnage lately. It's, uh... It's a hard game. Uh, you know, I so I have a I have a Total Carnage machine here in the house. Uh, that's not currently functional. I, it's on me at this point. That's been long on me. I, dumb. Uh, Total Carnage. Okay. Uh, after the War of 1999, reporters swarmed into the war zone. Uh, soon after, hundreds of reporters and other civilians are missing. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. got hostages all right unknown life forms send in the doomsday squad we're going to send in the doomsday squad all we are making is baby milk uh-huh uh-huh use warp disks for transport protect our flag Bombs destroy mines and barrels. Orcus aw waits for you here. Uh, so this is, you know, more or less the sequel to Smash TV. Not a necessarily direct storyline sequel, but it's the game that they made after that, very much in the style of... Shortcut. Hey, 
Make it, make it. Help me. That's that's on me. I just walk right into Help that. Me. That's just dumb. Over here. <laughs> Help me. Yeah. Feed me. Oh, is it? Can I walk up here? No. Help me. Oh, ah, well. Got a message from the general. Uh-huh. Uh oh. Alright, let's pause that for a second. Recenter this shot a little bit. Slide that over to the side. How about that? And then uh Hit a little bit of this. Okay. And then, uh, no, that's not gonna, no. Hi, we're here. Hello. Uh, I guess actually we don't need that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Was... Yes, add existing. Okay. Yes. Hey, hello. It's me. Hi. All right. Let's do that and then whoop hi on the fly baby okay what were we doing? right saving Thank americans you. someone has to I really thought about it at the time. It's a goofy fucking game. It's boing noises and curly noises and collecting American flags for points. Vomiting aliens. Played through Smash TV. Oh, hey, thank you, thank you. Here. Uh, through Smash TV in its entirety. Really. Okay. So when you pick up the thing that makes you constantly drop bombs, it does not give you the shield that it has to in. would never lie, right? Ah. 
It's like this is an arcade game for rich people. So you just brought all the quarters you had. And then you finish it, no problem. It's probably why they made Kind of. Seems like they kind of made it. Kind of the weird thing about, you know, talking to arcade developers and stuff like that all these years later. Hearing them just kind of like, oh yeah, no, we were trying to get, get it out of people one quarter at a time, and it was all about, like, what, how can we make the game in such a way that it gets people to put in more money without being totally unfair, and like striking the same balance that people are trying to strike with microtransactions today, you know? It's conceptually really weird, so you think about it, like, you don't think about it, you just think about it, it's like, oh, these amazing classics, Defender, all this other stuff, and you jam, and, and then they're just like, yeah, no, we wanted to make good games, but also, yo, we were trying to make money as well. Alright, now he's just spitting out tongues. Consistent with the whole playing nose thing. Um,
I like what this game does uh, after this first level here. This message it delivers right here is pretty amazing. Like, keep in mind, that's the end of the first level. And then it totals everything up, and then we get this big, goofy picture of us shooting in the air with our dumb-looking teeth. Uh... Pretty good. It's like, alright, yeah. Alright, so you were good at Smash TV or whatever, and you beat this level. Fuck you. It's like a good taunt, if you think about it in terms of like, oh, they've got to figure out ways to get people to put a bunch of money into it. Like, that's a way to do it, I guess, right? Uh, so why don't we do this here? Check this out. Yeah, let's all keys. Infinite ammo, infinite shields, infinite orbital, orbital, sure. Speed boots, why not? No duds. Uh, infinite lives, infinite bombs. Sure, sure. Something kind of relaxing about playing it this way, actually. <laughs> So I finished this game in arcades, like, kind of a lot, uh, multiple times. It was uh, at the 7-Eleven that I hung out at. I had a friend who worked there on weekends. They had this and Super Street Fighter 2. And since there was no one to play with, he was working, so he, he, he was not a Street Fighter player, so he wouldn't really uh, play. Uh, they had an MK3 machine for a while, too. Um, you know, I was kind of left to my own devices while he was working. So I ended up finishing this game, like, I don't know, probably like a dozen times. It seems like it was probably pretty expensive. I don't really remember. But.
Super yeah. bonus warp. That sounds good. Thank you. So yeah, I think if any of these, like these start to eventually count down, I think if any one of them goes off, no matter where you are, you die. We need to see someone really, really, really good at this game. You know, for, for as much as I played it, I don't know that I would ever say I was great at it. I, I like it. Warp two bonus keys. Warp code road. Difficulty ten. Experience pain before pleasure. Um. Oh, I died. Um, I, it would be neat to see someone, like, amazing at this game just kind of go through it and survive. I don't know, I don't know how possible that even is. Like, look at this shit. This is just, you know, we're invincible and this is still just crazy. Oh, and then they throw a bomb in here too, just to give you a little something else to think about as you're doing. Yeah, so you're, you know, when you're near these jets, the bomb button becomes the airstrike button. You call in missile strikes on these jets, which is just kind of cool. Uh, it's just not a cool thing. Here. 
I also like appreciate their real weird willingness to just write on the screen. It's like, ah, be careful. Uh, put that here. It's a weird game. Thank you. Thank you. See what's here. Over here. Save me. Kill Mr. Help Butane me. with many bombs. <laughs> so much for being invincible, huh? Burning men just running in at you. And an alien driving a jeep. Because why not? Because why not? Shortcuts and some of them are just bonus rooms. Uh oh.
Like, I... It is kind of just now dawning on me how fucking weird this game is. Like, I always knew it was crazy, but not really looking at it now. Like, here's a button mashing minigame suddenly out of nowhere, and since you didn't get it done, you lost your last life and now put more money into this machine. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Did those guys jump in not on fire and then catch it? Yeah, no, that's exactly what they're doing. They're jumping in not on fire and then setting themselves on fire and then coming out. Literally fighting fire with fire. By the way, oh, we've been captured. There's no escape. Submit to the pain. Oh, I think we. This is the same mini game again. I think we found a bonus version of that mini game. This would have been a good time to turn off a turbo controller or something. Like that. Nope. Nope. I feel like I've done this before, but it's a lot easier to mash an arcade button. It's, it's the start button. There's only one button you're hitting. Captain Carnage! It's fucked up. This game might be terrible. Like, it might be actually kind of evil in its practices. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
The lady's just typing. <laughs> Dummy. Guy looks like an idiot. <laughs> Put in enough money to see the end of the game, and then there's also the good thing where if you if you get to the end of the game and you don't have 220 keys, you don't get the best ending, as if to inspire you to do it all over again and put in way more money and, and all that. Yeah. This game is yeah, beautiful. Beautiful's a word. Yeah, I mean, you could warp ahead, but I feel like you would never get enough keys that way. I, I forget what it is. You get some keys for warping, but maybe it would be enough. I don't know. Also, if you put in uh, bad passwords, you die and lose a life. Like, it just takes a life from the very beginning. It's sort of daring to try to enter a fucking password. But yeah, my uh, my total carnage machine. It's it's got Smash TV and total carnage in the same uh, cabinet. I uh, traded my Earth Shaker machine uh, for it, and then there's a part missing from the monitor that prevents it from working. And then that part was available, but I just I was so busy that I never got that taken care of. And so I have this barely functional Smash TV machine. Total carnage and also There is something about cheating your way through this game that feels good. It feels like getting one back in a weird way. For the amount of money that I almost certainly put into this arcade machine over the years. Help. Coming soon Help. for you. Help. Help. I guess this is like the end of the game. I mean, I. Pfft. Enter secret path for big key bonus. Eat at Browns. Bulls rule now. Pistons will rule the NBA again. Widway rules. Uh, right, of course. Secret airplanes.
zone code. You are awesome. We're gonna go hunt him down. Kately pauses. It's kind of just nothing happened here for a couple of seconds. It's time to think about what you're doing with yourself. So if you think I, I, I can't even imagine how much money I must have spent finishing this game the number of times I did. I 
mean, it must have been in the hundreds of dollars. Over time, right? I mean, you know, just like... Looking like the end of the game. Proper boss meter. Survive this barrage of missiles! Hooray! By the way, his meter just filled back up. Loving citizen. How long I had to just pump rounds so that thing before it blew up. How theoretically difficult this would be. How frequently you would have to be putting money into this fucking machine. Of course, I have to fight a giant head at the end of the game. I can't handle this. I just can't handle this. 
men throughout history that we can... Uh, okay, yeah. General, don't let him escape. Oh, right, you have to. Shit, shit. One escaped. Of course, that's the real one. Of course, that's the. And of course, the second one escaped. This fucking game, I swear. motherfucking game oh every step of the way every step of the way So if you end the game with enough keys, you still get to go to the Pleasure Dome. Just like Smash TV. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Kind of a yeah. last chance at some bonus points yeah. here for getting all the keys, which... Total I want to say, maybe it was Smash TV. Go. Go. Andy for pleasure. Total carnage. <laughs> Hello, museum go, go, here. Go. I want to say that the game gives you shit if you don't get every single bit of money. Not. Go, go, go. Or whatever. Let's just look at the museum here. Ah, see those, those? That's the snake boss from Smash TV. Go, go, go! This is a very Smash TV looking door. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Total carnage! And now here we are hanging out with ladies and the two guys from Smash TV. Hooray. Congratulations, Captain Carnage and Major Mayhem. I feel dirty now. Like, even there, it's like saying, like, hey, maybe you should play through the entire game again, huh?
sick drums and credits. That's all you get. Did not wake up today thinking I would play through all of Total Carnage, but there you have it. That's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. Well, that'll just about wrap it up, I think. Uh... Yeah, maybe just one more quick game here. Is this even going to work? Is this... Do I got to do something different here? This... Oh, jeez. Okay. Hang on. Is that going to work? That might be it for us, actually. Yeah, that's looking like it. Oh, well. Uh, maximum court Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The That's right. I, I, there was something about Total Carnage where I think even if you got all the money, it didn't... Um, that text didn't change. Like there was changed text in there, but it just never showed up properly. So that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, anyway, I feel weird. I feel itchy, twitchy after playing that much shooter stuff. A little total carnage there. Huh. <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to uh, writing the Titanfall review uh, and getting that done. Uh, that'll probably be up next day or two here. Be a weird week for me. I got some traveling, going around, doing some stuff, making some things happen. Should be fun. Should be some cool stuff uh, as a result of that this week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I forgot to hit the local recording button on this, so I'm going to have to like download the archive from YouTube to get it up on the site afterwards. So hold tight for that. That'll take some time and yeah, have a good one. See ya.